The Legend of Walling Walling Once upon a time, in a kingdom in Mindanao, there lived a sultan who is feared for his bravery. He is Raha Sulaiman. He was believed to own a dagger that was given to him by the goddess of the war named Palido. It was also believed that the goddess gave him his excellent fighting skills. One of the wars he fought was Seta Temmon. He won that battle, and that was where he was given the dagger. He wasn't handed the dagger so easily. It was said that he was put into a test first. He was asked to cut his limb. As soon as the knife was onto his skin, he was shocked it can cut him off. The goddess then told him he was just being tested and that he was never to be wounded again. He will only die when the goddess says so. He wasn't only feared for his bravery. He was also feared because of how easily he can get a woman. Once he dumped one, he can easily replace her with three others. Whenever Raha Suleiman would be seen coming, men would hide women to their homes so they won't be victims to the playful Raha. There was this fisherman who lived with his daughter Waling Waling. Because her father fears that the Raha might like her child, he hid her in the middle of the forest. Waling Waling lived on top of a mahogany tree that was surrounded by ilang ilang and other plants. Only her father knows how to climb the tree. Waling Waling's beauty was really something not seen elsewhere. She has the skin as white as snow and hair as black as coil. Her cheeks are as red as roses and her eyes are shining like the fireflies at night. She has the most beautiful eyes in town. One night, Raha Sulaiman came hunting in the forest. He noticed the mahogany tree and saw Waling Waling. He was shocked to see such a beautiful girl hidden in the forest. He asked her who her father was. Waling Waling was scared. She feared that the Raha will end his father. His father dreamt that something bad happened to Waling Waling. He rushed to the forest to see her. He saw Raha Sulaiman. He asked her father to let her come down and allow him to marry her and love her forever. Her father asked her to come down. As Waling Waling was coming down the tree, he suddenly became a little plant with beautiful flowers. Both her father and Raha Sulaiman were shocked to see what happened. Raha ordered to get the flowers and put them in the castle to remember the love he almost had. Hi there! Did you enjoy today's story? I am your Ate Paula and I will share with you some more information about the flower Waling Waling. Panda sandariana is a species of orchid. It is commonly called Waling Waling in the Philippines and is called and is also called Sanders Vanda after Henry Frederick Conrad Sanders, a noted archaeologist. The orchid is considered to be the queen of Philippine flowers and is worshipped as a diwata by the indigenous Bagobo people. It has two forms, pink and white, also referred to as alba. M. Robilin discovered the original pink variety in the Philippines in 1881 or 1882. Vanda Sandiriana is endemic to Mindanao in the provinces of Davao, Cotabato, and Zamboanga. Studies have shown that when raised at high altitude, the plant bears flowers early. Thank you for listening to my story today. I'll see you for more.